Hi everyone, my name is Saif and in this video we are gonna explain Expensify and its features. I would recommend you to watch this video to the end to get the maximum benefit out of it. Expensify is a financial services website that offers an online expense management services for personal and business purposes. So let's get started and dive in. Before starting you need to sign in. You can uh, use any of these services to sign in. I will choose Google. Then I will choose this account and now it's signing in it usually takes a few seconds and here we are it will ask you it, uh, whether you want to set up uh, Expensify for business or for individual I will choose individual it also offers a demo if you want to get started with it uh, it also asks you uh, what will you use Expensify for let's choose submit expenses and here we go. So first of all, you have your left menu panel here. You can access your profile from it. You can sign out. You can uh, make any changes to your profile. And you can also access to help and feedback, which in which you will find uh, many resources for tutorials and guides in case you faced any problem. Next is the home section, which contains um, some helpful materials for you. If you are new, that uh, Expensify provides for you. You can also... Uh, contact help center from here from this icon on the on the bottom right next is the expenses tab which contains all the expense expenses you've got if you want to create a new expense all what you need to do is to press on new expense here and it, you will find that it provides you with many options you can manually create it you can scan a, a receipt you can create multiple and more so let's create our first expense let's choose manually manually create it will ask you about some fields to fill uh, let's say the merchant is uh, for example um, pet store or let's choose apple store <laughs> it, it's more classy so uh, the date here is, is dependent on uh, in which uh, in which date on, or, or in which day your your uh, expense was created here let's choose the total uh, 10,000 and here you can control uh, your currency from here you can also choose the category from here let's choose the surf I think the most suitable one is uh, equipment attendees is me you can change it if you have uh, other users and the description you can add like mobile phone and in the report you can choose to make a new report or choose an automatic one I will keep it auto automatic now because I will uh, talk uh, more about reports in this tutorial so let's save for now and check our expense tab and here it's our first expense you can also uh, press on uh, new expense and uh, choose a scan uh, receipt and it will allow you to upload from your PC or your device if we chose to create uh, multiple it will ask you uh, to create uh, it will give you a, a screen in which you can add more than one expense at, at, at the same time so for example you can write here the, here the merchant like uh, let's uh, car store for example the total let's say 250,000 the currency is Egyptian pounds category let's choose car description new car you can also add a receipt from here if you collect it will redirect you uh, to your PC to import from your computer from here so let's just close it for now you can also add as many expenses as you want so let's add another one uh, maybe laptop uh, store for example uh, let's say 30,000 and equipment new laptop for example and let's press on save 
Perfect. Now you have three different expenses. So in case you want to filter them, you can just press on filter here and it will ask you about many parameters on which it can base its filter. So you can choose the date of filtration, you can choose the merchant, you can um, choose the type of product, the, uh, the type of expense, whether it's expense or res uh, receipt or document. Uh, you can also choose your expenses only in case there are other expenses that are not directly for you. And you can uh, you can uh, filter based on whether they are open, processing, or even deleted. You can filter all, on all these parameters and here you will find the result of your uh, filtration. So let's, for example, choose the merchant car store. Or let's choose, yeah, here it is. And here you can see the status of your uh, of your uh, expense. So let's just cancel this. Here you can see the date, the merchant, and the status. Uh, you can also see the, uh, the amount, the category, and you can see the description. Perfect. And you can also control uh, the view, whether you want it to be viewed like a list, or viewed like large icons or viewed like this. So it's up to you. It's basically up to you. Moving on to the next section, which is reports. You can find all the reports re uh, related to you. Uh, you can uh, just uh, click on this. By the way, this amount is the submission of all your expenses. So you can click on it to see more details and here you are you will see every specific detail in here it has divided it to uh, different merchants different products and it gave you the total amount here so basically uh, reports are submitted every Sunday so if you want to um, submit it uh, manually at this moment you can just press on submit and it will be submitted Next is the insights here. You can see attractive charts that um, shows you a, a summary about your expenses. So here you will see that uh, all this region is consumed by car, which is uh, to, uh, 250 thousand dollar, uh, 250 thousand pounds. And here you can see that this only portion, which represents equipment that that includes our laptop and our mobile phone and here you can see tags since we did not create any tags it's it's blank and same for cards so basically here you can see all uh, the insights be, uh, in the form of charts you can also filter uh, as we agreed before on specific parameters here so if you don't want to see the insights of all your expenses you can control which expenses you want to appear in front of you in the form of charts Next is the settings, which is related to your account at Workspace. You can control all your settings from here. You can control your account details, your preferences, your expense rules, your credit card import, and your payments. Next is the support, in which you can uh, reach um, multiple resources of, of uh, guides and tutorials that will help you if you face any problem. And you can also access it from here, from uh, the bottom uh, right menu. If you clicked on it, it will start a chat uh, and it will allow you to search for resources. It's still loading. And here you can type whatever you want, any problem you can ask it. And uh, you can also add emoji from here, you can add any attachment so it's basically like any chat box so um, after finishing anything you want in your account if you want to return back home back home to your home page you need to just press on this and you will return to your home page so basically these are the main features for expensify that was our tutorial for today on how to use expensify platform i truly hope you like it for more videos make sure to subscribe to our channel See you soon on next videos and thank you for watching.